What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're taking a look at the Acer Predator Helios 18 AI. This is the probably the, basically the top end spec from Acer this year. You're going to get the most performance and the highest end specs that they offer across their entire gaming lineup. Plus, you get all of the bells and whistles for the RGB, which is a lot more extensive this year than it was last year. We got this light up RGB bar on the back, a light up logo on the front. You also have a light up RGB on the wrist rests and a wrap around RGB light bar on the left corner, as well as per key RGB lighting on each of the keys. And the WASD keys are user cap replaceable with three different options. By default, you've got a translucent key set, a like a matte key set that is not see-through, and you also have a WASD key set as well. So, uh, and they're just magnetic, and you use this little magnetic tool right here to unlatch them and relatch them back in. It also comes with a 400 watt power brick, which is a pretty large brick, very very similar to the MSI Titan 18HX power brick, 400 watts, uh, but it's reasonably sized for a 400 watter. At least it's not too massive, but it is going to be pretty heavy. Now the power brick connector is this uh, high power throughput connector that goes into the back of the laptop right here. On the back of the laptop we have the power plug HDMI 2.1, two Thunderbolt 5s, as well as the RGB and dual flanking rear exhaust. On the left side we have another exhaust, a downward facing ethernet port that will be a little harder to unlatch a USB-A 3.2, and then a full-size SD card slot and a headphone port. Of course, the wraparound light bar, a super large touchpad, and then we got the RGB lighting on the wrist rest right here. This is customizable, but it is pretty dim, so you're only really be able to see this lighting when you're in a darker environment. On the right side, we have our status lights, as well as two more USB-As, another right side fan exhaust, and of course, these keys are also per key RGB. So overall, uh, the spec is looking really good, and on the inside, there's also a lot more upgradability than you would expect, because you have four DDR5 SODIMM slots, I believe up to 6400 megahertz memory, uh, but probably not if you go to the maximum capacity. So you're talking probably uh, at most 16 gig sticks, I imagine, probably to get that level of memory speed. I have to double check all that though, but keep that in mind that you have, can have up to 192 total if you use four 48 gig sticks in here. So you can have some huge memory capacity if you're running uh, virtual systems or you're needing it for your job uh, for very, very memory sensitive and demanding applications. In addition, you have three PCIe Gen 5 SSD slots on here, which is kind of insane. So if you're looking to do like RAID 0 with Gen 5 SSDs, this is this that you could do you could do it with some really insane SSD speeds with this laptop for sure, um, and of course with the the Thunderbolt five ports you just got that really crazy bandwidth and throughput with the new Core Ultra nine CPU. So, I mean it's it this laptop's got lots of potential I think um, for upgradability compared to most other laptops on the market currently. So that's probably the biggest strength to it, and of course. Uh, you got that high power throughput. You know, Acer is claiming up to 270 watts of power throughput with this, with 175 watts going through the GPU, and I believe uh, 90 or 85 going through the CPU, somewhere right in that ballpark. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty massive thermal output with this laptop, uh, more so than the 16 AI. 16 AI, they didn't make any thermal claims, so I'm guessing it's not quite as good, but at least these thermal claims are being very competitive with some of the other brands like MSI and Asus. So uh, we'll have to actually see real performance and real world benchmarking before we know for sure, but the 18 AI is also very promising. Just overall from a raw specs perspective, especially when it comes to the display, you're talking at a 4K, 1000 nits in HDR mode, 600 nits in SDR mode, meaning that when you, you have to go into the HDR mode to really get the, the true peaky whites of the display. If you're in SDR mode, which is what you're generally going to maybe use when you're in normal windows, uh, you're only getting 600 nits. Now that said, 600 nits is kind of in some ways blindingly bright as it is. So most people would probably turn the brightness down unless they're in a very bright environment like an outdoor environment or a very bright sunny office or something. But no matter what environment you're in, you're definitely gonna be able to see this screen because of the mini LED 4K display. And I believe they also offer a QHD option that at a higher refresh rate. The 4K 
uh, is only up to 120 hertz is my understanding. So overall, from display, CPU, GPU perspective, we're looking at, I believe, a pure flagship laptop here uh, without cookie cutting or preventing you know, users from getting the top end specs. The only thing that I wish is that they would also offer a Ryzen option, like, uh, you know, because that may be the best gaming CPU this year, and instead they're only going to offer the Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX. But we'll see how everything comes down. Uh, you know, some people are going to want the Intel, some people are going to want the Ryzen. Obviously, Intel is probably a more popular company, which is, and they have existing partnership with Intel, which is probably why they're not offering the Ryzen chip at this time. But maybe in the future, you know, especially if there's more demand, I wouldn't be surprised to see more Ryzen chips. Uh, laptops, you know, coming up maybe in the second half of the year or maybe next year. So uh, we'll have to see how the, the laptop CPU market uh, shifts out or, you know, I guess where the chips fall, I guess, as user demand and customer demand come into play. So overall, 18AI looking very promising. I just made an overview of the Predator Helio 16AI there, and I'm about to make an overview of the 16S uh, right there, the Neo 16S. We've also got the Nitro laptops over there and the Blaze laptop, uh, the Blaze handhelds over there. So if you want to check out all those hands-on, be sure to check out the channel and subscribe, like, uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Brandon, out. Huzzah.